Welcome to the Kuya Dev Podcast, where we explore the ins and outs of building a successful tech career. My name is Rem, your Kuya Dev, and I'm excited to have you join me for this episode. Whether you're just starting on your career, looking to shift careers into tech, or hoping to grow more as a tech professional, this podcast is for you. Thank you for tuning in, and together, let's enjoy the episode. Before we proceed with the episode, I forgot to mention this in my previous uh, three episodes. Na my wife and I started another podcast, and it's called the Weekend Wind Down Podcast, in which we try to uh, put out an episode at least once a week, you know, during the weekend. Kaya nga weekend wind down, you know? and we try to talk about things na na observe namin sa uh, mga personal experiences namin and you know with friends and family uh i th- i think everything under the sun na pwedeng pag-usapan na we think would be beneficial sa mga nakakaranas din ng same experiences as ours so you know it's again it's weekend wind down uh you could uh, find it on spotify and on other podcast uh platforms so yeah If you want to look at our website, we have a website, we, we can xyz and also our link in bio, kung doon lahat ng mga links, is www.p.show. So, yeah, I uh, hope you could uh, check it out, and if uh, nagustuhan nyo, you could subscribe, and maybe uh, leave a rating. Tsaka dito na rin sa uh, Kuya Dev Podcast, if you've been listening to my episodes and you enjoy what I'm saying and uh, what I'm trying to share with everyone, uh, leave me a five star sa Spotify. No? Uh, makatulong ng maganda yan para makarating din sa iba na hindi pa alam na may Kuya Dev Podcast. So yeah, sana you can go ahead and do that. And I, pre- I, pre- I appreciate it. Uh, thank you in advance. And also, I'm also, uh, dahil yung Kailan ba yung previous episode natin? Yung about being the... Uh, actually, last episode yun, no? Yung about being the main character of your own life. no Doing it for the plot. no I'm also contemplating on actually creating a daily vlog. It's going to be very... Ngayon pa lang natatakot na ako kasi the, the effort that a daily vlog requires is going to be tremendous but i think uh i need parang meron ako ano eh may itch ako na mag-create na mag-create eh. uh ng mga bagay-bagay kasi i've i'm tired of just consuming content and consuming everything no uh watching movie movies watching videos watching things on netflix nakakasawa na Absorb ka lang ng absorb eh. Uh, nanonood ka lang eh. At uh, parang there's value in you know, creating uh, content na hopefully makatulong din sa iba. But most especially kasi I want to hold myself accountable. Because you know I've been saying na I want to pursue these things. Uh, yung, yung masteral, yung graduate studies. And... Uh, building something for Tech Career Shifter Philippines and, you know, pursuing being a speaker in in, uh, in events and, you know, being that tech community leader. And I'm hoping na yung daily vlog would help me, you know, be accountable to myself. And uh, i-co-chronicle ko or i-gagawin gagawin kong journal yung vlog na yun uh, para i-document yung journey ko from now or for or for from whenever I really start that vlog to finally you know ma-check natin yung mga yung mga to do natin o yung mga goals natin ma- makuha natin isa-isa I want to show that 
process. I want to show the, the the struggles. I want to show the the frustrations. Kasi maraming ano yan. Marami ako na ikitang mang, pwedeng mangyaring masama na or makaderail dun sa mga pangarap ko at pangarap namin ni Mrs. na most probably ngayon pa nga lang ang dami na nade-delay eh. So I want to show that kasi most of the thing on the social media right now medyo romanticized na eh na parang nakita niyo na lang lagi ano siya he put in the effort tapos nakuha niya na parang hindi niyo na nakita yung paano talaga siya naghirapan parang lumalabas parang overnight success and there's no such thing as an overnight success and i want to show that i want to share that journey with everyone so hopefully uh ina ko pa eh uh, medyo may mga mobile pa ako probably baka baka start of next year gawin ko siya but the channel is already there Uh, you can find it on YouTube kung gusto nyo nang mag, uh, mag-subscribe kahit wala pang laman as in wala pang kalaman-laman um, it's Kuya Dev Vlog nasa YouTube na so yeah uh, I'm hoping I could start that maybe next year sana ma- matupad isa sa mga kailangan nating iplano Ho- I'm really also hoping na parang maging way siya to put my focus in check talagang yung focus ko hindi na ako masyadong ma- ma-distract na ibang bagay kasi I now have something na parang kailangan kong gawin araw-araw na kailangan kong tapusin. So, I don't know. Well, let's see what what happens with the, uh, dun, sa, dun sa plan ko ngayon. So yeah, ang um, dami natin sinabi. Uh, but yeah, mga bagay na nakalimuto ko sabihin dun sa first episode, the first two episodes. So I just wanted to uh, share that with you. So yeah, on to the episode. So, I just no uh want to discuss siguro yung another taboo na parang bawal gawin ng mga tao especially pag beginner especially sa mga communities na parang bawal ang mga parang noob questions or sabi nating quote and quote stupid questions and ako kasi ando na ako sa, sa kampo na ano, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Uh, I forgot the quote, but it goes something like, there's no such thing as stupid questions. Only questions le- uh, left unasked. Parang ganon yung, yung, yung tema. So, you only become stupid pag hindi mo tinanong. Pero, any kind of question isn't stupid because it's a pursuit of knowledge. Eh. Any question is a pursuit of knowledge. You're trying to acquire something na you don't know. Diba? Especially kung yung intent mo talaga is to learn, yun yung nag-aano sa question or any kind of question. Yun yung parang nagbibigay sa kanya na this is not something that's stupid. Of course, may mga smart questions, really smart questions, but there are questions. Questions and smart questions. There are no stupid questions. Bakit nga ba nila sinasabing stupid? Kasi ang usual na nagsasabi nun, yung mga medyo feeling nila, alam na nila lahat. Or feeling nila yung mga tanong ng mga tao, trivial. Pero, I've been proven wrong many times. Dun sa assumption ko dati na parang, ito, alam ng ta- lahat ng tao to eh. Parang ganun yung assumption ko. Like, itong last interview sa akin ni Sir Doc Ligot, akala ko dati, lahat ng tao, kayang matuto mag-isa na it's an innate skill for, for everyone. Mali ako doon. So, I thought it was trivial. No? It was a trivial skill. But as, as I, you know, I progressed through tech, and I, I progressed through the tech community, ang kikita ako na hindi pala lahat kayang gawin yon, Or at least, they aren't aware that it's a skill no? for them to work on it. So, hindi nila alam na parang it's something na you can build. No? Or something that you can learn. You learn how to learn. ba? Diba? So, isa sa mga parang preconceptions ko dati na na, ano yun, na, na, na nabasag. At kasama rin yan yung, kasi andun din ako dati. Dati rin, parang naniniwala ko, there are stupid questions. Kasi akala ko, may mga bagay na dapat alam mo na agad. And apparently, hindi ganun. Kasi iba-iba yung nagiging environment na kinalalakihan ng mga tao, di ba? 
there are people na parang scarce naman talaga yung access niya sa knowledge. Or they grew up in an environment na pursuing knowledge isn't really something that's imbibed in each and every one of them. So, magiging ano, magiging parang sabi natin, yung knowledge nila kulang. No? At saka may mga bagay sila na hindi sila aware na nag-exist. Like, for example, sa ano pa lang, sa mga tech communities pa lang, may mga nagtanong, kunwari, what is a variable? No? What's a variable? For someone, siguro sabihin nyo, kayo, kung medyo naaral nyo na yan, syempre, or computer science graduate ka, or professional ka na, malamang sa sa'yo, alam mo yun, di ba? Parang given na alam mo yun. But for someone who's a beginner, wala silang alam dun. Of course, they will ask that. They will try to understand what a variable is. Because it's a very abstract na concept kung tutuusin. Di ba? Sa atin, parang simple siya kasi nagdaan na tayo dun. No? Nagda- nagda- nagdaan na tayo dun sa nahirapan tayo intindi ng isang bagay. Or maybe ikaw, hindi ka nahirapan. Di ba? Nag-gets mo agad. Pero there are people who hindi agad makukuha yun kasi we are, our brains are wired, wired differently. Iba-iba tayo ng pace of learning and level of understanding. So, some people will kind of lag behind on some topics, pero baka mag-excel naman sila sa ibang topics sa programming. So, iba-iba eh. Di, di, di mo rin alam. So, sa akin lang, you know, every time someone asks a quote-unquote stupid question or a beginner question, uh, at least now, no, uh, ngayon na medyo mas nagigets ko ng mga bagay-bagay, no, hindi ko na siya para tinitingnan na tamad to. Kasi yun usually na sinasabi, tamad ka mag-Google. Tamad kang mag, uh, mag-research sa sarili mo. But the mere fact na nagtanong siya, that's research. Isn't that research? <laughs> Kasi ako, no, pag may gusto kong ma- ma- malaman, I want to learn it the fastest way possible. And kung yung nakikita nalang the fastest way to learn something is to, to ask questions, pat natin pagkakait sa kanila yon. And another thing, kung sa tingin mo, parang it's not worth your time answering that question, scroll. Di mo naman kailangan sagutin na parang ang tanga mo naman or ang noob mo naman or i-google mo, gago. Di ba parang total, nag-reply ka na rin, reply mo na ng maayos. Ba't mo pa isiraan or ipuput down yung tao? Nagtanong yung tao eh. It takes guts for people to, for a person to ask a question, ha? Lalo na publicly. Although ngayon, Uh, ina-allow ng unwari, Facebook na you can ask questions or post in communities anonymously. Kasi nga, dahil sa mga ganyan, feeling ko, doon nang galing yun eh, sa mga reasons kung bakit dinagdag ng Facebook yan eh. Kasi uh, people are are afraid of being judged and being put down dahil lang nag-post sila. Especially pagka yung question, medyo parang sabi natin, oh, quote-unquote, tanga para sa mga ibang tao, no? And, you know, I applaud it. I applaud what Facebook did. And maraming tao ngayon, medyo, but mo pa ina-anonymous yan? <laughs> That's the real, That's the exact reason kung bakit uh, pinayagan yung anonymous na yan. Dahil sa ganun. Dahil may mga ganyang tao. Dahil ganyang kayo, no? Pinuput down yung mga tao. Siyempre, matatakot siya mga yan, no? I mean, you know, kaya mo bang sabihin yung sa harap-harapan nila? O, oh, Baka oo, oh, oh, kaya mo. Pero for someone na hindi mo kilala, sasabihan mo ng ganun. That's rude. Very, very rude. And if it's something na you can't say publicly, no? or in, in person, why would you say it on, on the internet? Grabe, parang since the internet was invented, ganyan na, di ba? Na ang tatapang ng mga tao, eh, pag, dahil nasa likod sila ng ano, it gives you, gives you power no? to really attack people. Na feeling mo, it gives you brownie points because kaya mong iput down yung, mga ta- yung ibang tao. You feel na parang superior ka sa kanila. Like, what the hell? <laughs> so, mabalik tayo sa topic. Nalayo na naman ako. Don't be afraid to ask questions. There's, again, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Now, kasi yung topic talaga nito, alayo na naman ng paikot-ikot ko, di ba? But yung topic talaga natin is about asking better questions. No? Sabi ko nga kanina, there are questions and there are smart questions. 
But for you to arrive to that smart questions, you have to ask the, again, quote-unquote uli, ah, you got to ask the stupid questions first. Kasi paano mo malalaman kung ano yung mga better questions? Kung hindi mo pa alam, parang hindi mo pa na-build na yung foundation of the knowledge na kailangan to actually ask those smarter questions or better questions. Kung hindi ka pa aware kung ano yung uh, sabi natin AWS, how could you ask questions about AWS? So first, you have to ask what AWS is. Is that a stupid question? Maybe sa mga nag-iisip na basic yan kasi sila expert na. No? Feeling nila they have the the authority to put down people kasi <laughs> Mga balik lang ako dun eh, no? Nakakainis eh. But, yun nga, you have to build first the foundation, yung, yung foundational knowledge bago mo matanong yung mga, mga gandang tanong. So, how can you do that? By asking the basic questions. There's no way around it. No? And even if you're not asking it publicly or it, you're not asking it loudly to anyone, those questions should be formed within yourself. And nasa sa'yo na kung ipapost mo somewhere for people to answer or you seek the answer to the question yourself. So, usually, yung mas mahirap na, ano, mas mahirap na path or mas matagal na path is yung gagawin mo siya ng sarili mo. Pero, syempre, mas fulfilling siya. No? Kasi, sa akin, mas, ano, siya, mas ma-articulate mo sa sarili mo. Pero, there are times na hindi yun posible. Eh. You would need to really ask the question. And hopefully, yung mga sasagot, they could lead you into something na would make you form your question into something better for people to actually be able to help you more. No? Yun na yung ano eh, yun yung parang gawin mo na, na goal in terms of asking questions is to learn more about the topic so that you could form another question that's high value for everyone. You know, mas ma ma malaki yung makukuha mong value at maganda rin yung makukuha mong value ng mga sasagot in terms of kailangan nila mag-isip no at ma 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 ano yung mental gears nila gagana no at sa mga sumasagot naman ng mga basic questions no of course again wag niyo nang iput down kung wala kayong maganda sasabihin scroll up hayaan yun na lang sila no Yan nyo sila. Nagdaan tayo lahat dyan. Lahat tayo naging beginner. Like, come on. Tapos sinasabi nila, dapat wag, wag daw kasi dapat na i-spoon feed. Again, there's a fine line there. Kasi yung spoon feed, oo, bibigay mo na lang agad yung sagot. Kunwari, tanong siya, may code siya. So kunwari, na parang ayaw gumana. I-spoon feed mo agad yung code. Na ito, ito yung gagana. Without any explanation. Kasi pwede mo ibigay yun eh. Ibigay mo yung gum that running, running code. Tapos, explain kung bakit. No? Kasi yung sinasabi nila parang spoon feeding yun eh. Bibigay mo lang agad yung code. Na, oo, medyo nakakasama siya. Kasi pag binigay mo agad yung code, tapos hindi mo lagyan kahit anong explanation, of course, kung, baka naman kunin lang basta nung, nung nagtanong yun and implement lang niya without even understanding. But if you put in the effort to to actually explain why this works and why the asker's code doesn't work, pwede nga na eh. Baka makatulong. No? Mas, baka mas makatulong. Baka mas valuable para dun sa para dun sa nagtanong. And for you na rin. Kasi again, it's an exercise na it would get your your mind uh, working. No? Kasi problem solving yan. And, no? So sa akin, oh, ako, Actually, well, I have no problem with masyado sa spoon feeding. Kung trip nung ano, ibigay niya yung code, tapos yung nagtanong, kinopya lang. We are all adults here, so uh, deal with the repercussions. Kung, kung kinuha mo lang yan, hindi mo inintindi. It's on you, di ba? Kasalanan mo na yon. So, we, don't, we, we can't really tell people na wag mong ano yan, uh, wag mong spoon feed yan na ano. I mean, sige, reminder na Siguro may nag-post ng, ng code, maybe, maybe we could tap his shoulder and tell him na maybe you could explain this or why it's working for everyone. Ah, ganun man lang, di ba? 
parang remind lang natin or wag nating para huy bakit ganyan gagano ginaga- pinag inaaway niyo agad <laughs> wag ganun ano lang uh, tell people na hey it's, maybe it's better if you could explain this para ako matuto rin ako and everyone can understand what's happening especially pagka code medyo sobrang abstract nan minsan So, ganun lang naman. Um, be, be kind with each, with each other. Hindi naman kailangan galit agad. I don't know ba anong meron sa mga taong lag, ano pa lang uh, naka-default na galit eh. No? Yung tone talaga nila sa keyboard, galit agad eh. I, I, I don't know what ano, ano, anong meron. No? But kailangan lagi tayong galit. The goal should always be trying to understand people, trying to understand concepts, trying to make each other better. And pagkag galit agad, wala na. Yun nga, doon sa interview ko kay uh, Sir Doc is, yun nga, pagka nag-post ka, nag-reply ka sa mga post ko on you know on YouTube or dito sa uh, podcast ko or sa mga sa TikTok ko or sa Facebook, pagka nag-post ka doon tapos bastos ka or galit ka, wala na tayong conversation. Wala tayong, wala tayong, wala tayong matututunan sa isa't isa, di ba? Kasi, wala na, galit ako sa'yo, galit ka sa akin. Wala tayong ano, kasi sarado na agad yung ano, na communication channels natin. Kasi wala na, we, 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 we bias na agad tayo against each other. But in terms of pag, uh, yun yung mga gustong gusto ko, yun, pag nagko-comment sila, then uh, pasensya na nga pala, bago, bago ko tuloy, pasensya na mga sa mga nagko-comment, ay read your comments, minsan di ko na lang talaga na, na reply yan. Lalo na pagka medyo mahaba, uh, I, I really don't have the time na rin minsan. But I really do read your comments and I take them to heart, you know. Lalo na yung mga mga gandang comments. So, yun nga, na-appreciate ko yung mga ganon. Yung mga tipong, oh, uh, Kuya Dev, so may nasabi kang ganito. Sa experience ko, hindi ganito eh. So, rest assured, pagka ganon yung approach mo, I listen. I, I really, really try to internalize. O oh, nga naman, baka naman talaga, baka mali ako or baka naman pareho tayong tama, no? O kasi baka, sa situation ko, ganito yung nangyari. Sa situation mo, ganito yung nangyari. So, it means na there are multiple possibilities. So, I really appreciate that. Kasi again, I don't know if I mentioned this here, I can't really li- li- uh, live the experiences of 7 billion people. no? 7 billion individuals in the, this world, di ba? Just imagine that. I'm just one person in 7 billion people. So that's 7 billion experiences. And for me to have a full in the understanding of the human experience, I need to, parang si Dr. Strange, to experience 7 billion na lives. No? Not to mention yung mga lives na mga nauna na sa atin at saka yung mga buhay na mga darating pang o ipapanganak pang tao. So that's mind-blowing. And I can't really live everything na sa bubble ko lang, ako lang, no? So I I want to l- hear your opinions. I want to uh, hear your insights and experiences. Kasi when you share those experiences with me, you know, your opinions in a nice manner, ha, hindi yung galit, I get to live your experience, no? And I get to factor that in in my own world view. No? So Actually, kung ano ako ngayon, kung paano ako mag-isip, yung current na, na, uh, na place ng mind ko is a sum of all these stories and all these interactions with people. Hindi lang siya basta na-experience ko on my own personal na ano, uh, life. Even yung mga experiences na mga kakilala ko, yung friends ko, yung mga kapamilya ko, people in the community. That's how how I I I know eh. I build my opinions and I build my worldview through adding the experiences of others with my experiences. I can actually turn political here because it also translates to politics eh. Yung ganun. But uh, it's off topic 'yon. So uh, siguro lagay natin sa would be vlog ko. <laughs> Sana uh, hopefully magawa natin 'yan. But you can't really live inside your a bubble. Kasi, again, your perspective is just one perspective in 7 billion. 
kung kaya ko lang sana yung ma- ma- ma-combine lahat ng perspective ng 7 billion people into just one experience na kaya kong i-live through and form an opinion around it, di maganda, di ba? Parang, that's the dream. Napanood nyo ba yung ano? Kung napanood nyo yung sa ay, Venom ba yun? Sa Venom movie na parang si Tom Hardy, di ba? Siya yung bida ron. Then towards the end doon para sa end credits. Eh, merong yung Venom, meron silang tinatawag na hive mind, parang ganon, na parang collective experience siya nung hive, nung symbiote, alien sa symbiote, na lahat na experience sila, parang napupull into one collective na na experience. And they call it the hive mind. So, ang alam ng iba, ang alam ng isa, alam na lahat. But still, di ba, Even though iisa yung iisa yung alam nila, iisa yung experiences nila shared sa lahat. No? Ano nga to eh, parang crowdsourcing eh, no, ng experiences. But even though ganun siya, yung dalawang uh, symbiote si Carnage saka si uh, si Venom, magkaiba pa rin sila ng pananaw. No? That's actually a profound moment during that movie eh, na oo, para sila ng alam. Parang sila na experiences, but still, magkaaway sila. Di ba? Hindi sila nagkasundo. <laughs> Nakakatawa eh, di ba? Parang, how, how mind-blowing was that? Na, it could happen, di ba? If, 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 if it was possible to have that uh, pool of experiences, pool of uh, knowledge, na lahat, pare-pareho tayo ng alam, pare-pareho tayo ng experiences. I think, magkakaiba pa rin tayo ng pananaw sa buhay. No? But still, I, I want that. I, I, I really want that. Yung magkaroon ng parang yung 7 billion experiences, makuha ko. Lumayo na naman ako. <laughs> I really have to to check myself sa ganito. Eh, no? But uh, yeah, um, I'm nearing the 30 minute mark. But yeah, um, yun lang. May papayo ko sa mga beginners. No? And everyone actually na trying to to do something new. Don't be afraid to ask questions. A- ako, I'm actually I'm tr- I'm telling this to myself too kasi there are times na takot ako magtanong. Parang yun nga kasi nga there's that uh, stigma na parang there are stupid questions daw, 'di ba? And kuno arito gusto kong mag-vlog. I don't know where to start. So I did my research. But if I knew someone na talagang personally na na ano baka I should have asked questions, di ba? Instead, para napadali siguro yung pag-aaral ko. But, uh, you know, uh, it's something na we all struggle with, I, uh, I'm, I'm sure. So, sinasabi ko rin to sa sarili ko. Do not be afraid to ask questions. No? Seek those, question, uh, those answers out by, by just posting those questions in, on the internet. No? And even to people you know. Or to your boss, to your mentor, kung may, kung may mentor ka. Of course, lalo na sa mentor mo. And, you know, pwede naman kasi habang tinatanong mo yun, you do it in parallel while doing research. ba? Diba? So, mas maganda yun. Kasi, uh, you get the sanitized version, kumbaga, or in their, own, uh, in their own words, they try to explain the concept. Tapos ikaw, you pursue the academic route of research, uh, googling, tapos, you combine those knowledge na mag-gather mo into something na baka mabuo mo in your own words kung ano yung concept na yun that, that you're trying to learn. So, ganun ba? Yung mga, mga ganun ba na, na, na approach? And yun nga, and lastly, sa mga naiinis, sa mga uh, beginner question, don't be, no? Kung naiinis ka, step back, bakit? Tanongin mo sa sarili mo, bakit ka naiinis? No? Because you see it often? Na dapat nasa, nasa FAQ na siya? Oo, oh, siguro. No? Pero yun nga, yung lalo na pagkabago sa community yung tao, baka naman hindi niya alam na may FAQ. Hindi mo pwede sabihin na tamad yung tao eh. Kasi that mere act no? na, na nagtanong siya, it took effort to, to, to do that and to come up with that question. So hindi tamad yun. Actually, it should be applauded because it's, again, 
they're pursuing knowledge no and if every anyone is pursuing knowledge you should egg them on instead of parang sari mo na ka magtanong dito ng ganyan like come on guys no we are better than this so thank you again for watching another episode and yeah like sinabi ko nung umpisa nung ano nung nung episode if uh, we we have a new vlog with my wife so uh, i would appreciate it if you could uh, uh, subscribe to us and also watch out dun sa daily vlog ko titingnan ko kung ma-accomplish natin yan hopefully i'm crossing my fingers uh, but yeah thank you and i'll see you next week Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Kuya Dev Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have comments, suggestions, questions, stories you want to share, or any topic you'd like for me to discuss, drop me a message via kuyadev.com slash contact. You may also join our community by visiting techcareershifter.com. Until next time, Keep learning, growing, and chasing your dreams. Thank you again for listening, and I'll see you in the next episode.